Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I can't save because some re for some reason the game thinks that I'm in combat. Uh, I think it's because of that spider that was up there trying it? to attack me. Um, maybe we try to uh, leave. Okay. Oh, now it does. I even, like, nope. Okay. I'm listening. This door is magically warded. Oh, to step through would mean instant death. You'll need to find a ward stone if you wish to enter. Okay. There we go. It will be done. Certainly. I don't know what was going on there. Um But I guess we'll save now. Without doubt. Time to move? Right you are. Yeah, time to loot, actually. One whole gold. Yay. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, cool. Armor scroll, worthless. One gold. Eight gold. Hey, all right. Ten... Old gold. Is this a pit of blood? I don't know. Quickly and hard to say whether you know when when the stuff is just not moving. It's hard to say one way or the other whether something is like supposed to be blood or something is supposed to be uh... a giant spider attacks cobalt. Help me! No? Alright. Whatever. Sorry, Cobalt. I would like to help you, but... We gotta go. Oh. Speak. Alright, alright. I'm getting damn you, Dro. I'll not die simpering like a whipped dog. Take the three gold and the uh, short sword. Don't mind me. I mean, I would help, but I can't. Murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. <laughs> well, he failed a saving throw versus poison. That's not good for him. Oh, he didn't have anything. God's how I be hating spiders. Three non-lethal damage from Duergar. Oh, he must be using fists. Dang it. In Bervan's name, Oop. it shall be done. Sorry. No problem at all. Didn't mean to uh, pull you away, Harry. All, right. all right. Uh, there's Solifane. Okay. Imre, I guess. There she comes. This will not take All right, long. let's go sell something. Let's see what you have to offer. Did I pick up anything? No. Go ahead and sell armor. Don't care about that. Gem bag, lynx eye, horn coral, jasper gems, 51. Bag of holding. Right, I need to identify these. Braces of binding, short sword, sell those. The daggers. Alright, we'll probably have to wait on that, I think. Still thinks I'm in combat. If it must be done. Love be praised. Do not address me directly, worm. Any more impertinence from you and you shall feel the lash of the tentacle rod as it flays the flesh from your bones. When you're in the presence of one of those favored or a matron mother, do not speak until spoken to, fool. Where is your sense? Well, I don't know who that was. 
Forgive me, Handmaiden Nimre. This was the most promising female by my judgment, but young and recently proven and lacking in intelligence. I was an error to bring them. I shall send them back to and find others who may serve the matron mother's will. Please accept my most humble... You shall do nothing with them, male. But they will have to do. You will be punished later. For now, I will address the female personally. Oh, oh, did did I uh, get him in trouble? Oh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Your story has been verified so far, Veldrin of Chednasad, and that is why you have not been sold as a lowly slave or made an amusement in the tavern. But you still have no place here. You are fortunate indeed that many of our finest warriors are busy with preparations elsewhere. Fortunate enough that a matron mother has decided to make use of you. Cling to that soul, hope, worms, and do not fail the matron mother. For if you do, the horrors of your punishment shall be far more terrible than we uh, than had we beset you at the gate. Explain what has occurred, Solophane. And be quick about it, male, for the Spider Queen demands my attention. At once, Henry. If I were to speak of the Devourers, Ved Veldrin, would you know what I speak of? You mean the Illithids? Yes, I know what they are. Yes, I believe that is the name they call themselves. Very intelligent of you. The Scions have long been one of our fiercest enemies. A matron mother's eldest daughter ran afoul of the Devourers while, sc while scouting. Her fool companions fled or were slaughtered, and she was taken captive. They know a prize when they have one, the Devourers. They will bring the daughter to their city, and should they reach it, she will be lost forever. With the preparations of the armies, we are the only ones who can intercept these devourers. We must go to their cavern entrance and wait for them. Hadden Maiden Imre has given me a blessed item of Loth that will put the devourers from their astral travel there. Or pull the devourers from their astral travel there, and it is there we must pounce. The matron mother has no desire to see her eldest daughter become a snack for the devourers, so we must not fail. Do you understand, Veldrin? I am to meet you at the entrance to the Illithid Caverns and ambush some Illithids who have ta who have a matron mother's daughter captive. Exactly. The Illithid tunnels are in the southeast wait southeast portion of the main Underdark Cavern. I will be scouting, and you will find me there when you arrive. We do not expect the Illithids for some time yet, so you have the opportunity to rest and resupply yourself, if that is what you wish to do. You must meet me at the entrance to the Illithid Tunnels within the next twelve hours. No more. Do not be late. Indeed, there are many exquisite horrors that will, may be found for you in the Demonweb Pits, should you fail. And if you decide to run, the Driders will eventually track you down. As for you, Solophane, the Matron Mother expects even better from you. Report to the Temple before you leave the city. As... as you wish, Handmaiden. <laughs> I hope I got him in trouble. All right, so we uh, we gotta head uh, down. It sounds like to one of those uh, places that I avoided before. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look. All right. Okay, do you still have uh, stone skin memorized? Yeah. I got that and then rested earlier. It will be done. All right, let's go. You must gather your party before venturing forth. They've gathered, they've gathered. Eastern tunnels. Oh, there he is. Certainly. All right. Do 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 do. Oh, uh, what have I encountered? Skeletons and boss. I let's dare. I won't let my friends be hurt. Mashar and Chandrila. I'll help however I can. All right. Count on me. Run back. One magic damage from uh, Pitch and a Blinded. Mist Ball, huh? Misled, Tattoo of Power. Skeleton Chanted and Strength of Wand? No, it's gotta be something else. Chandrila. Damien. Hey, quiet. 
popping a potion. Alright, fine, go ahead and go with this. Uh, pitch must be a method. My lord. This way then. There's a war dog. There's a Nishru out there too. Eyes on. Go for that. So the Nishu seems to be slow, and I'm not sure what we need to do to get that. There's Nashtar. He's going to go down shortly. There we go. All right. First, we take the money. Potion of ice dust. Potion of ice dust. Go ahead and drink that. And grab that. On the ground. Okay, just go ahead and start uh, putting these away. And that is a scroll of Abby Dalzim's Horrid Wilting. Probably better for you to learn that. Dragon's Breath plus four. Trying to profit from the strength of greater beings, ma many years ago the mage Ulian founded a dragon-worshipping cult under the moniker Son of Drago. Attracting followers with promises of conquest, he sought to secure his authority by enchanting the symbolic weapon for his bodyguard, Jeremor Bold. When the Dragon's Breath strikes an opponent, it releases the harsh flames of a red dragon, the poisonous vapor of the green dragon, the blue dragon's lightning bolt, a spray of black dragon's acid, and the white dragon's penetrating cold. Unfortunately, Ulion was the first to feel its effects, slain by the ambitious Jeremor, who sought to rule. There was no real power to be had within the mage, so the entire organization soon collapsed on itself. Uh, 1d10, plus 1 cold, plus 1 fire, plus 1 electrical, plus 1 acid, plus 1 poison damage. Um, so it's technically only plus 5. 1d10 plus 5. Uh, still, all of those different types would be pretty good in general. So I think that might that's going to be uh, a that might be a good weapon for Minsk eventually. Okay, put those away. Who has the, uh, you do? Grab that. Okay, a few other things that I can sell off. I might go sell them off to the, uh, Duergar, uh, first. I'm not sure which one sells for more, the long swords or the chain mail. Now 
we can at least sell one. What do you want? There we go. Got that into the uh, spellbook. All right, so some uh, friendly neighborhood. Uh, I don't know. I guess those would be considered adventurers. It's an interesting group of people. There was an ogre. There was a mephit. Yeah, let's just wait for everyone else to get down here. It will be done. Mamala Krinti, most noble Dro. I, Karlig, a simple trader, welcome you, your passing. Loth, Kjaldos. Spare my language, your fumbling tongue. Show me your wares and be quick. All right, he has new stuff. Uh, plate plus one, uh, leather armor plus one, studded leather armor plus one, mail plus one, splint armor plus one, small shield, medium shield, large shield plus ones, lots of plus one junk. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me. Plus one junk. Uh, arrows plus two. Potions of Master Thievery. Various potions. Okay, Limited Wish, Improved Mantle, Calvin's Warding Whip, Finger of Death are all things that I do want. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and um, first sell some stuff, but uh, I think we'll be stealing some of that. 150. Not the Dragon's Breath. Sell all of this. Um, yeah, I have the other set of full plate armor. There we go. Nothing there. Charm person I don't care about. Any low-level spells that I don't really care about here? Um, I mean, my Sphere Simulacrums could go for uh, quite a bit. It's not bad. I don't think I'll use the hold on deads. Let's get rid of those. Non detection I can sell. Deafness I can sell. Burning hands I'm keeping for potential troll killing. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Okay, let's see. Do not have the uh, boosted intelligence right now. That's okay. Good to go. Okay, let's see. Finger of Death, Kelvin's Warding Whip, Improved Mantle, and Limited Wish. Right, no, I have to steal them all one at a time. I forgot about that. Okay, I may not be able to steal some of this stuff. Improved Mantle is the... Toughest thing. Yep. All right. Gotcha. 
All right, so I can't steal that one. Um, limited wish. Yes. Kelvin's warding whip. Finger of death. Yeah, okay. So we got those at least. Um, potion of storm giant strength, I think I'll steal. I'll go ahead and just buy these. It's not a big deal. And I think we have enough of the other stuff. I'm good there. All right, limited wish. Um, you're the only one that doesn't have it. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so improved mantle. Is it something I have? It appears so. Uh, I think we'll just buy it. That's fine. There we go. So he has different stuff when we uh, appear to be um, Dro rather than our normal surfacer selves. A little bit worried about the fact that um, I still have uh, Malizon applied to us, but I think we'll have to survive. We will have to just uh, deal with it and hope that it is it goes okay. I do what I must when I must. Good, you are here. I was beginning. Well. I was beginning to wonder how long I would have to remain waiting amongst these forsaken rocks before you showed up. But your timing could not be better. I sense that the Illithids will come within range soon, and I may safely pull them out of the Astral Plane. Have you a question before the battle, Veldrin? Make it quick. Uh, who exactly are we here to rescue? Her name is Fairy of the House Despana, eldest of the Matron Mother Ardalace. Be sure that you do not harm her, even by accident. Do not expect to be rewarded if Fairy... Uh, by Fairy if our rescue is successful. She expects no less from Lesser Dro. We have no choice in the matter. But enough talk, I sense the Illithids approach. Wait and I shall bring them out of the Astral Plane when they come close. Okie dokie. Alright, just sprinkling uh, flour on yourself. I mean, that's, that's fine, you can do that. All right, I don't have stone skin anymore. Hi, friends. How's it going? That's a lot of them. Mind flare, mind flare, mind flare, Umber Hulk, fairy. Umber Hulk, Umber Hulk, okay. We go for you first. A lot of people are stunned. And Imwin is dead. Now? Please, come on. Pretty please. It will be done. Let's go with that. Let's hand that over to you. In fact, drink that. You do not have chaotic commands. Uh, 
I apparently did not give you got you any chaotic commands. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Other things that we can uh, do. Oh, you do have chaotic commands. Okay. Alright, Minsk and Almondretta. On yourself. Go with Chant. Go with Haste. Greater Elemental Summoning. That's mirror image for now. Get an undead over there. Get a golem over there. Flesh go Golem and Zaman Rule. Okay. Certainly. I do what I must, when I must. Know this well. All right, let's go ahead and try it. Hurry up. Sprinkle more, uh... Stuff on you. Stuff is expiring. I don't like that. Come on. Something just expired. I don't know what that is. Okay, some of her luck expired. Ups. Oh, shoot. It is about time that my captors were finally defeated. Hmph. I was beginning to think that they would reach their illithid city after all. Greetings, fairy daughter of Argilis. I trust you are uninjured. 20,000 XP for that. Who is that? Solophane? So, Matron Mother sent you, did she? How that must gall you risking your life to save mine. I did as I was commanded. Yes, you did, as any male should. You've done well enough, I suppose, you and your assistants. Hmm, who is this female with you? That one, that is... I'm sure she could speak for herself, male, am I correct? You have a tongue, yes? Who might you be? I'm Veldrin of Chednasad. Indeed, a foreigner. How odd. We shall have to speak more, you and I, once we are back in Usnatha. I shall head back to the city on my own and inform the matron mother of your successful service, Solifane. You have proven useful. You should be grateful. You're going to return on your own? No, what if you encounter danger once again? I shall not be responsible for it. I appreciate your touching concern, but I can handle myself, Solifane. And it is my command, so you have no choice. Farewell. 
Not sure if that's yep by Blasted, arrogant wench. May the spider queen bite at her black heart. Maybe you shouldn't be speaking in my presence like that. I shall follow her to ensure her overconfidence does not endanger us all. Return to the city on your own, Veldrin. I shall meet you at the city's entrance. Alright. Let's go ahead and let you go. Alright, so... Level 4, moi. Um, that is going to be both levels. Okay, no proficiencies. Um... Let's go ahead and get Resist Magic. Can I not? Oh, oh, right. Now oh, I have two abilities. Okay, extra sixth, extra seventh. Eh. Well, why not? I got enough of those other things. Okay, saving throws. Death, wand, polymorph, spell, all reduced by one. Thacker reduced by one. Got an extra sixth, seventh, and eighth level spell. Uh, two hit points. Lore increased by three. Okay. Um, let's go with improved mantle. Uh, Delayed Blast Fireball. Kelvin's Warding Whip. Wyvern Call. That could be fun. Let's get Improved Haste. And Globe of Invulnerability. Alright. And then Imwin. Level up. Uh, fourth and fifth level spell. One hit point. Lore increased by three. All right, fourth level. Let's get a, a blue fire shield. And... Spell immunity. That's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and call it an episode. When we come back next time, we will make our way back to uh, Usnatha. Um, having had everyone hasted and having those summons right there to get take the brunt of uh, the Mind Flare attacks definitely did help. Uh, I got through that with basically no damage, <laughs> which is pretty good. Anyway, that will all be next time. See you then, everyone.